live. We got to talk uh, the first weekend of the new year. Happy 2024, everybody. Happy New Year. Good to see you here on this new year. Uh, we uh, got some a new weather pattern this year. We were very warm uh, in December, and and just thinking about, it, I'm going to try and pull that uh, that graphic up just to kind of show you how warm. Uh, we were. I mean, it's a Facebook Live. We can kind of take our time. We're not limited to the three minutes that we are on TV. So uh, I'm, I'm going to walk through this a little slower just to kind of talk with you. I know sometimes uh, some, everybody's different. Some of you don't mind the, the, the laid back, take our time, explain the weather pattern. Others like, just get to it. Just tell me what's going to happen over the weekend. If you're the get to it, tell me what's going to happen over the weekend and be done with it. Fox8.com and we got the weather page, the weather discussion over there, and we got all you need. You just get right to it and it'll show you what's gonna happen over the weekend. But uh, let's just talk about the whole pattern uh, as we get you into the new year. The big, uh, the big picture is it's colder. Uh, so we've got a colder weather pattern in place. So if you like winter, you like winter sports, uh, your business depends on winter. If you're, you know, um, uh, the snow, res the ski resorts and what have you, snow plows, things like that. Um, we're starting to get into that pattern where we'll start to see a little bit more in the way of snowstorms. Um, albeit, when I say snowstorm, I don't want to conjure up huge foot of snow. I just mean systems that come through that dump snow, whether it be like what we just had a couple of days ago at Lake Effect, where an inch or two, or big snowstorms. Uh, we have a, a better pattern now uh, where we'll start to get some of those. Uh, stormy. Uh, next week, so we have one storm system we'll got to talk about for next week, too. That could be a big one. Uh, but first, the snowstorm that comes this weekend that we won't get a whole lot from. But it's just so nice to see the sun today, right? I just uh, It just helps the mood. It helps everything <laughs> sometimes to see the sun. Even though you want the snow, it just really helps to see the sun uh, and lift your spirits. All right, satellite and radar uh, just kind of showing us that there's that good interplay, that good mix between uh, clouds and sunshine. Uh, temperatures are cold, but seasonably so. We're going to be in the mid-30s today. Uh, 37 or so is our typical high for this time of year, so we're right on the money. I like showing this particular graphic because it really shows us uh, what the sky is doing and where and so it's partly cloudy now although there's those clouds there a lot of that is higher level clouds cirrus clouds so we still see some filtered sunshine through that so i like to call it <clears throat> excuse me i like to call it partly cloudy uh, so partly cloudy in cleveland and akron and canton and youngstown and astabula and over towards finley uh, and then we got pure sunshine more blue sky in places like lorraine and mansfield worcester new philly but the the gist of that though it's still cold. Temperatures in the lower 30s. Uh, 26, though, in Ashtabula, 29 in, in Youngstown. The winds are coming in out of the southwest, so that's why we're not as cold as we were yesterday where the winds were out of the north. Again, I'd like to just kind of meteorologically wise, uh, winds play a very important role in weather and even in forecasting. Uh, so the, the northerly winds keeps you cool, southerly winds warms you up a little bit. Uh, so because of our winds are out of the southwest, we stay on the warmer side today. Uh, wind chills because of that little breeze here and there. Uh, it's a little bit colder. So 25 in Akron Canton, 27 in Cleveland, uh, 26 is the real fill in Ashtabula. So just a few degrees cooler than the actual air temperature, but you know, not by a whole lot. But the, again, the moral of the story is it's winter time. It's early January, Northeast Ohio, so it's cold. You know, no big whoop, nothing to write home about. Uh, the temperature and the wind chill here We'll say in the mid-30s through the day, it'll feel like we're around 30 or so with the slight little breeze here and there. And we won't be as cold tonight as we were last night. Last night we were pretty chilly. Uh, but tonight we'll still be cold, but we'll at least be about 5 degrees warmer uh, than we were. All right, so the weather checklist, I love this. Uh, and, and I love when you all notice this as well. It's, it's great. Uh, the coat and the, and the hat and the gloves and the scarf and the coffee, something to keep you warm because it's just typically seasonably cold. I know they're the outliers out there like, ah, it's not that cold. I'll just have the jacket and I don't eat the hat and the glove. Well, if you're going to be outside for a while doing anything, maybe if you're just going from the car and into the building, you're fine with just the jacket and no hat and gloves or whatever. But if you're out for a while, uh, then you may want all that. The sunglasses, I can finally put that back there on the checklist and put a green check on it. And the car wash, I know, you know, I think you're good to get the car wash today, but just be forewarned that because we do have some snow coming over the weekend with some light accumulations that 
you know, the salt may be put down and you may get, you know, the grime back on the car. Or whatever. I know some of you like to wash that stuff off the car. You know, once we get a system that comes through and you, you're driving around, you get the grime and everything back on the salt back on the car. You're like, oh, I got to get this off. I hardly wash my car. I'm not one of those people. But if you are, um, I think you're good for the car wash. But just know it's going to be cold. Uh, fishing forecast. Oh, you crazy fisher, fishermen, fisherwomen. You're out there all the time in any type of weather, but it'll be quiet this evening uh, if you are going to do some fishing. No no big weather worries this evening. We'll get some clouds in here. Uh, temperatures, sure, they'll be typically chilly, uh, but it won't be as much chop as we've seen the past uh, few days. One to two foot chop. Water temperature a little cooler now at 40 degrees. Uh, ski resorts, we can get this out. And again, the pattern is is warming up nicely to where the ski resorts are starting to uh, starting to be able to make some some snow and starting to see Mother Nature help them out a bit. So this is good. This is this is what I'm talking about. If your business relies on the snow and the colder weather, finally the patterns turning in your favor. The odds are now in your favor. Hunger Games, right? Uh, so uh, the odds were not in your favor uh, before in, in the month of December. Let me show you that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so here is December. And you can see how warm it was. Look at that. Wow. All those above average temperatures. 21 days above average. Uh, six days normal and only four days below average. So that's that was a pretty warm uh, December. And it was a wet December too. Now granted, <clears throat> in, in, in December, there were a couple little lake effect snow systems that came through. But by and large, most of this was rain. Uh, average is 2.99 inches or three inches, if you will. Uh, but we got uh, for the month 3.33 inches. So we we got uh, a little bit more rain. Uh, I think um, I think it ranked in the top 10 wettest Decembers. I think I think I don't want to be making that up, but I think it did. OK, so future cast. So today we're fine. Partly cloudy skies. You see that right there. The mix between the white and the brown, which is the land, the white of the clouds. We're OK. But then by the time we head towards tomorrow, now I'm going to back this up a little bit because we are on Facebook Live and I can just kind of take a little bit of time. So by I'd say by mid morning tomorrow, that's when we start to see the snow showers come through here because we're on the northern periphery, northern northwest periphery of that storm system to the south and east. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of snow, but we still get clipped by the system. And so primarily 71 and eastward is who sees the bulk of the snow showers. And this is Saturday mid morning to about let's uh, I'd say to about early evening. So that's when we see all the snow showers come through here. Not to say that places that are east of 71 won't, but it's predominant that you'll see it here 71 and eastward. Then it gets out of here by evening time, early evening. So much of Saturday evening, if you're out and about, you got some things to do, you're spending time with the family, bowling, whatever, uh, going out to dinner, uh, what have you, then it's, it's fine, it's dry. And then by overnight, Saturday night, and through the day on Sunday, we got more scattered snow showers that come by. This is just from another system that's moving by. So scattered snow showers moving by, and then it's out of here primarily Sunday evening. We get a little bit of lake effect snow streamers that kind of stay with us as we go through the overnight um, into early Monday morning, but the bulk of Monday is dry. So when it's all said and done, the amount of snow we get from that, it's not a whole lot. So from just the snow on Saturday, from being clipped by that, that big system that's off to the south and east, uh, places like Ravenna get about an inch, Canton an inch, New Philly an inch, inch and a half in Carrollton, uh, inch in Warren, inch in Astabula, Chardon almost an inch. So about an inch. So not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all from the Saturday system. And then remember Sunday morning through the day on Sunday, we get you know our next system that just brings us scattered snow showers. So we add on to that. And so by the time it's all said and done uh, on Monday morning, Painesville, you end up with the almost two inches, Cleveland about an inch, Chardon 
Uh, you could have a sweet spot there, about three and a half inches, two inches in Ashtabula, Ravenna, two and a half inches, Akron, almost an inch and a half. Same thing in Canton, Carrollton, about two and a half inches, Youngstown, three inches. And then further west, we're talking, you know, maybe half an inch, maybe just a dusting uh, on the grass or what have you. So that's what I mean by it's not a whole lot of snow, but it's it's starting to see that pattern change. And if you like the season, if you like to see the snow falling, if you like to see it on the trees and the ground and what have you, if your business depends on snow, the ski resorts and things like that, we're finally getting that. We're finally changing that pattern for you. Uh, and so that's the good thing over the weekend for you. <clears throat> Here's the storm that we got to watch coming next week. Tuesday morning. Actually, this is really Monday night, in all honesty. Let me just back that up just a bit. So, yeah, Monday overnight coming in from the south. Temperatures are cold enough that we see snow showers and a wintry mix to start the morning off on Tuesday. And then by the afternoon, we warm up to the mid 40s. So it changes over to all rain. And then by Tuesday night, it switches back Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, it switches back to uh, rain, snow mix, snow showers, wintry mix. Uh, and then uh, Wednesday through the day warms up a little bit to change it back to a cold rain, maybe a wintry mix in some spots. And we may linger onto a little bit of lake effect mix uh, Wednesday night into early Thursday. So that rain that you saw there with that system Tuesday into early Wednesday, that's heavy rain. So it's a heavy rain. And then on top of the heavy rain, we've got some gusty winds with that system. Now the wind gusts could be wind advisory level. So if I had to throw it out there, maybe 35, 40 miles per hour, maybe a 45 mile per hour gusts here or there. Uh, and those are gusts. So really gusty winds and really heavy rainfall for Tuesday into Wednesday. So just a heads up on that. And you'll be hearing more about that as we go through the weekend. Uh, so Scott's here over the weekend. Alexis Walter's here over the weekend. So tune into them over the weekend as we start to get more and more info. And then, of course, on Monday, you know, we'll definitely know a lot more uh, about what's going on. So that storm could be the disruptive storm for our Tuesday and Wednesday commutes. Uh, maybe some isolated power outages uh, here or there. So just a heads up on that storm. So today, partly cloudy skies, uh, temperature seasonable in the mid 30s. And then tonight, um, seasonably cold too in the mid 20s. Partly cloudy skies, uh, no problems tonight. And then the eight day forecast, again, we get you over the weekend. Uh, temperatures about 34 overnight lows in the mid to upper 20s uh, so we got snow showers for saturday and sunday not a whole lot again about an inch or two uh, mostly cloudy skies on monday drier 39 and then uh, that system comes in tuesday starts off as snow showers or wintry mix in the morning changes over to rain in the afternoon back to snow showers wintry mix tuesday night warm up enough wednesday afternoon that it turns into uh, uh, rain showers uh, and then maybe a little bit of lake effect uh, lingering into early Thursday. We get Thursday off for a break, 37, mostly cloudy. And then by Friday, we get our next system that comes in. Uh, some snow showers at uh, in the evening, at night, uh, Friday night. There's not a whole lot uh, about that system yet. We got to get through at least these next couple uh, before we get into that one. But that is the forecast. So again... Uh, not looking at a whole lot of snow cover for this weekend, but it's enough. It's enough for those of you who, who want the, who like the season to start at least seeing it more and more. Uh, we just again just saw the lake effect a couple of days ago. Now we're seeing this come through. So you're starting to get back into the season uh, and say, finally, this is what I like about the winter time. Get to see the pretty snow and what have you. And those, you know, folks like Dante who like the summer and heat and humidity you don't get your way all year round. I get it. I understand. Uh, so there you go. Um, that is the forecast. Uh, we dodged the big bullet, the big storm. I know there's some of you out there who want it, who want the big foot, two foot maker storm. I know the season's early still. Uh, you got some time, <laughs> so we can still try and get it. But El Nino uh, is playing a, a factor, uh, but we kind of knew uh, Andre and Scott uh, digging into the into the weeds, into the details of, of the pattern uh, for this winter. And they mentioned that January could be that erratic type of month. And things look to be a little cooler as we get into next weekend. Things look to start to turn colder uh, for, for that mid to late January pattern. So 
once we get those storm systems that come through, they're probably going to fall more as snow as opposed to the mix or what have you. So uh, that is that is winter across northeast Ohio. Who knows what February is going to hold? Uh, that, that may be an erratic month as well. But enjoy your weekend, everybody. Again, first weekend of 2024. Uh, I hope you uh, have a great weekend, and I will see you back here, of course, this evening uh, when Mackenzie and Andre join me, and then we'll see you again on Monday where we got to talk about the disruptive storm on Tuesday. Yuck. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody.